And I don't know if I if I do a script or whatever, but like it, everything you've said to me in way of questions and stuff, yes, sir. it's just automatically it, it, stuff was bubbling up out of me. I don't know. Um, I didn't think about it or uh, ponder it or prepare for it. Just kind of like this is pretty much what I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it was raw, and we got uh, you know, everything you said. I took uh, little words down here so I can, you know, your original answers because. You know, I don't, I don't want you to do anything you feel uncomfortable with, so we had to do a practice run, so that way you can do your best, because I know how much this video is going to mean to you. Because, you know, uh, you're passing the torch to me. You were the one trying to save the world before I was. Yeah. You know? so, or at least trying to make sense of it or, or get, get some kind of idea that, you know, uh, just because the rest of the world is bitter or angry or... Uh, childish or uh, insane about something doesn't mean I have to be. Right. I can be whatever I choose to be. Yes, sir. And I'm going to try to be that. And and also, like on that note, is like this is what I choose. I choose to let all those years of you waking up every day and fighting this bullshit every day, looking for that answer. I refuse to let that go to waste or to be dishonored or um, even at this point, you know, neglected. You okay? Yeah, my feeding tube is, is, is really roaring at me right now. Is it tight? Uh, yeah, it feels like it's stabbing me. It might be or burning thing. me or cutting me or something. I don't know what. But every now and then what will happen is the fluid will run out of it. And the gauze pad will absorb that. And then it will dry and stick to my skin. How does uh, how does this make you feel? I'm uh, getting, you know, um, older and having these health issues. Uh, a little surprised in one sense, and because uh, throughout my life, uh, I mean, I've never been. Uh, I, I, some people said you've been a sickly person, and I, I had pneumonia a lot of times as a kid. I never knew that. I never knew anything about pneumonia or anything yeah. like that. And I, I just always, uh, well, I, I went to school every day. I went to work every day. But I, I grew up in a family where you didn't uh, cop out. You didn't. Oh, I can't go anywhere. You know, uh, right, so that brings us right to our first question. By the way, um, what's up, world? We plan to save you, and this is the first step on how everyone's gonna see how this really works. Um, my name is Andrew Murray, I'm 27, I got a lot to learn, long ways to go. Uh, well, and that, and to, to just refine what you said, I, I don't know that it really works this way, but I believe it does. <laughs> Uh, you know, I believe it enough to well, the point where I'll, I'll say it. We both I'm not, believe I'm, it. I don't feel like I'm saying something I want to take back. I'm, I'm saying it because I think it needs to be said. Well, and I think that's the, what the viewers really deserve. Um, you know, if you're going to get advice from a elder, you know, especially someone who's earned it, you know, wasn't babied their whole life, fought every day. I think that you should take your time and listen to what my buddy Richard here has to say. Because... Um, to be honest, like Richard, you, you know, you, you know, time's limited, you know, and uh, you, being you know older, you've expressed to me that you have something to say before you you can. You know, and I know that uh, death will come for me like everybody else, like a thief in the night. I know not the minute nor the hour of my death. I know not the circumstance. I, I just accept that this will happen, and uh, in the meanwhile, I have something I can do. I have something I can be. I have something I can, somewhere I can go. I have something that needs me. And we all need to be needed. Yeah, I agree. We yeah. all need to be, we all need to feel integral to that which goes on around us. And we have no clue of how overwhelmingly positive that can be or negative that can be uh, if we choose to do it. Yeah. Just do it. Right, like you Nike. Know? Just yeah. do it. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's go to the, some of these questions. Um, Richard, is there anything you'd like to tell the world about who you are or, you know, some of this, what you went through? How old well, are you, I'm, sir? I'm Richard Conway, and uh, I'm a 70-year-old man who uh, grew up in Colorado Springs, Colorado, a native of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Nice. And I worked there uh, for 50 years of my life. And uh, uh, throughout the course of my life, I suffered a broken <laughs> neck a few times, and uh I uh, finally got to the point where they said, well, the stenosis is so bad that this surgery, the fusion we're about to do on him, may leave him quadriplegic. 
And that was the unhappy circumstances that basically led to my divorce. Because my wife was a registered nurse who uh, throughout her life worked really hard at trying to be a good nurse. You're good, take your time. Your wife's, uh... she, she's a, I'm proud of the fact that nobody says to me, you know, you know, you never talk about that bitch, you know, that fucking whore. None of that stuff. I have nothing bad to say about my wife. I don't hate her. No, I, I don't. And, and I, I, I told her, I said, you know, you've worked your whole life and you don't want to have to be my caretaker if I'm quadruple. Right. You know, every time I have to take a poop, you have to wipe my butt? Uh, I don't think so. So this is kind of what I'm hearing. I asked you who you are and I hear you saying that you're that guy who does not give up because this is a uh, you mentioned earlier, that's the family you were raised in. Yeah, it, it, as long as there's a chance to try. So it's, How could you walk away from that and say, oh, I'm tired as hard as I can? Yes, sir. No, there's still another chance. And to me, being younger, like, that is the kind of true man that I feel like some of my friends need to be learning. Uh, someone who is willing to cut their own egos off, be honest, um, and, you know, tell you how it is. Like how you're saying, truth is very important. So on this note, uh, we come around to the second question, is uh, what, what do you think of life? And uh, you had mentioned earlier about future investments. Well, it's, it's, it's the thing that all of us have when we're born. And it's the thing that all of us have when we die. It's the chance to do something for good or for evil, for, for good or bad, but whatever the case may be. You know, and that's another topic all in and of itself, but the reality is, it's something that is what it is, and it's, it's existed as long as mankind has, and it will continue to exist. You know, it's, it's one of those things that won't change because of time or people's ideas about it. Or anything. It is what it is. And that's so powerful, uh, that, that understanding that we've, we've all got something that uh, all the great, uh, the historical greats that we've thought about, they all grasp the fact that do I have all the answers? No. But do I have some answers that other people don't have? Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. And maybe if I just shared those, that would help some people. Definitely. I feel like there's some, I'm sure in your old age, there's been some things where you're like, damn, I could have done this a lot easier. And, you know, when you see a kid like me, you, you want to, you have that feeling inside that you want to warn me. Like, hey, you know what I learned the hard way? <laughs> yeah. You know? So. Yeah. Well, and there, there are easy ways and there are hard ways. And I'll tell you what, uh, hard is a word for a reason. You know, it's the opposite of easy. It's the opposite of soft. It's the opposite of comfortable. It's the opposite of things that, uh, uh, it's no more different than, than uh, flying to the moon. You know, it is what it is. And it's just like that rock right there. We're seeing one side of it right now, and if we flip it over, we'll see the other side. Yes, sir. It's not necessarily bad that the other side's hidden, and good that the side we're seeing can be seen. It just is what it is. Yes, sir. That's, a, that's a, what uh, a lot of religions call flowing. Is that right? Yes, sir. So you're naturally a flow artist, and you just you've, uh, open yourself up to it. You know, I mean, honestly, you went through the pains. Like, you, you're starting to learn that the only pains you have left now are in this body. Well, and I'm thinking that uh, that I've been given this particular uh, problem or circumstance or whatever for a reason, you know. And uh, it, it's uh, it's often puzzled me why I haven't taken my own life. And I, I'm thinking because uh, all the other people that you've known who suffered, who've had great pain and suffered and couldn't stand it anymore, and killed themselves. Uh, they had so much more to give. They had so much more to say. All right. So, how would you think of this as your answer? Like, when I ask, "What do you think of life?" You're basically saying, "Don't fucking give up." Ever. All right. Ever. Yes, sir. You know, and I like if, that. And, and if, if if you do, uh, make sure it's when you're leaving this world and you're you're no longer committed to the rules of this world. Okay. Right. You know, and I don't know. I don't know that. Uh, Life after death is something that we will, um, uh, I hear that we leave our meat suit behind and, and uh, uh, all the pain and all the suffering and everything just melt away. 
And if that's the case, then I'm, I look forward to that and welcome it. See? But the fact of the matter is, uh, I'm no worse off nor better off than anybody I know. I'm just somebody who is in the circumstances I'm in and nothing I say or do or think or feel or pray about or anything is gonna change that. So what should I give up because of that? Why should I surrender to that? That, that didn't earn my, that is not earning my, my surrender in my opinion. So it's just another challenge to you, huh? That's it, something that you have to embrace. All right, I like that. I'm a challenge guy myself. Uh, so, you know, I guess I could just answer this. Obviously, when I ask you, what do you think of death? I'm sure this is another challenge. Um, earlier, you mentioned that it's inevitable. No, well, it, it, it seems to be a, um, from different people I've talked to, older people in particular, uh, it's a release that some people really look forward to that. Oh boy, come on, come on, I can't wait. Yeah, I can wait. You know, uh, uh, to me, leaving this world with things left unsaid or things left undone or... Uh, Without completing your purpose. Yeah, places left ungone to or whatever, I, I think, no. I don't want that, but I want rather to try and make sure that whatever I do and wherever I go, whoever I encounter, that I try my hardest to make sure that it's gonna be, it'll be a better thing or place or person after I'm gone. Well, I hope that, you know, uh, after you're gone, that hopefully, I already know it, man. There's gonna be a lot of people who see this video. It's gonna mean a lot to certain people uh, because it's not like you can just go walking down the street and find someone willing to reflect on their whole life with you. You know, um, so I, w I want you to know, like, you may not really realize it yet, but you are the first one of all of the videos that I've taken. You're my first interview, and there's a reason why I settled for no one less. Um, you have the salt and pepper that this world really has been taught they should respect, and I'm here to make sure, like, this is why we respect salt and pepper, you guys, because this man is going to teach us some things about... 70 years of life and he's he feels the same way as us and then also look at what he learned you some of the things you've said have already eliminated some of my fears and wonders where i'm like oh, i wonder if it's like that yeah i see it now i hope i'm right but i i i, I would never bet my life on it you know i would never say oh yeah i'm one thousand percent sure i'm right i don't know but it feels right it feels you know, I won't know it until I see it, but once I see it, I'll know it. <laughs> you know, yes, that, sir. That type of deal. Cool. Um, well, I guess, like, um, so the next thing uh, is, yeah, how do you deal with, with that? Like, uh, the, the life or death and the inevitability of both of those. It sounds like duality you were talking about earlier. How do you deal with... Um, how, you, how, are you, how would you make more people aware? And... Uh, you know, how would it be real? Well, I, I guess I'm sharing something that I think most people know or should know by now. And that is that everything that is unknown to us seems kind of scary or, or uncertain or whatever. But the truth of the matter is we know a lot more than we think we do. Yes, sir. You know, we understand a lot more than we think we understand. And that understanding or that acceptance of that. And that, that comfort with that is to put a person somewhat at ease. And if they're at ease, they have a much better chance of uh, either going completely off the tracks and being wrong about everything, or kind of focusing on what that laser being focused. Huh. What's really important here? What's really important is living each day to its fullest. They're trying and trying and trying. You know, and knowing when you go to bed at night, did I try to do? Did I try to do? Yeah, I tried. Yeah. You know you tried. You, you don't have to drill yourself or give yourself the first degree. You understand? I tried. And did it, was it, I don't know. Was it successful? Did it, was it that I accomplished what I hope? I don't know. Well, yeah. But I sure hope so. Well, listen, the, this final message with you, uh, I feel like I might have some time until I get expired. Uh, who knows? I could die tomorrow, yeah. you know? But if I am alive and you are gone, I will have your video. And I will, I will be using this 
So, right so even if you think, you know, if that's it, when you're done, you, you can't help no more. Like, this is my way of making your help, like what you really have to offer, almost immortal. Uh, people will respect this. Uh, there's a similar man who made a video about encouraging the younger people um, to like, you know, he realizes now that he's in his older age that the young people, he has to hand the world over to him whether he likes it or not. So his kind of thing was like, y'all better shaping up. And you know, he was an old military guy, so he spoke to the young people on that level. And right. I, I felt like he, they needed to hear a little bit more hope. Yeah, he, he, he was encouraging, but yours is both hopeful and encouraging. So, um, I, what I heard you say was like focusing on being aware, like um, aware of these two things of life and death, and um, also the inevitability to be aware of all these things, um, and the realness of the duality. Correct. Right, and then also the appreciation of it. The appreciation of this is something that is is obviously uh, confusing or maybe hard to accept, but it is what it is, and it, it it has to be accepted for that. It has to be recognized as that. And when you when you when you do accept, when you do recognize, you no longer find yourself doing. You're not chasing after yourself when you're trying to get away from yourself. You know, you're not doing that anymore. You're finally saying, "Oh no, now I'm I'm comfortable in my own skin." I know who I am, I know what I am, I know that I don't have all the answers, and I never will. That's but great. that doesn't mean I get to stop looking. That's, that's some killer information right there. So, chasing yourself when running away from yourself, that's something you suggest to these kids to not do? Yeah, it, 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 it just seems like uh, we all reach a point where we, we want to run and hide under a rock or something like that we're, we're so embarrassed about something or yeah. uh, wish we hadn't said this or hadn't done that or had done this or hadn't done that right you know and it, it, you just kind of think well you know that's a human condition that's part of being human it, it left untended it, it, it can ruin a person's life it can turn them upside down or it could help them it could help them understand that nothing's nothing's set in concrete huh. and nothing's a uh, 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 lock it, it, it's well, that's relieving it's what we make it yeah yeah it's what i we believe choose. that too i feel that i vibe that um so uh you know how do you see uh you know black versus white good versus bad uh you know evil versus pure type stuff um, well uh, you said something to me you said death to me earlier and i thought you said sex and I, and sex is something that everybody looks at we are human beings by nature and our nature is some of us are male, some of us are female. Yeah. And we're different. Right. And God told Enoch, poor man, uh, I, I, I gave him a short lifespan. Enoch said, what do you mean? He said, well, no man should or, or will live beyond 120 years. You know, so they're, they're mortal. And uh, now the angels, on the other hand, they're ethereal. They're, they, they're immortal. They'll last forever. You know, they're, 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 they'll take it that away. Uh, but actually, I believe if people stop believing in angels, that's when they die. People stop, stop believing in God, that's when he dies, yes, too. Yes, sir. You know, and the fact is, how could anybody look at any of this and smell this and feel this and, stuff and say, there is no God? <laughs> 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 nah, I ain't buying that. Somebody with an incredibly inventive mind. Our and first soul. ancestor. What's that? Our first ancestor. Absolutely. And, and, and they went through, said, felt, experienced all of the insecurities, all the... They were the first angst. ones to do it. Yeah. Oh. And, 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 and they had as big a chance to be wrong about everything as we do. But the fact is, they chose to do something and for whatever... This reminds game. me of that point where you were teaching me about the relay race. You know? Yeah. Uh, like the first ancestor, that makes a lot of sense. They, all of our generations were working towards a goal. Like we were, seems like Babel or something happened and now we got to go back to unity. You know? We're all trying to make sense of it. Yeah. There's not one of us that doesn't care about, wait a minute, I don't need to make sense of this. I don't need, I don't need to care about that or this. You know, that's not important. No, it is important and we know it is. It's so important that we can't, really get it out of our minds we can't really put it aside and uh, th that kind of a situation tends to make a person say oh, 
well, I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm not putting it down. And Dad, I'm through with it. I'm done. And they're the ones who walk away and, and don't ever cry again, don't ever believe, don't ever care. And they're the ones who suffer the most. You know, they're the ones who get uh, uh, swallowed by hatred. Uh, by And it's their dislike of the unpleasantness or the difficulty in what they're trying to do. Yeah. And all it is is just difficult, folks. Difficult. It's yeah. not the end of the world. Yeah. For heaven's sake. It, it, I feel like it's it's difficult, but then when you go back to this whole duality thing we've been shedding light, like it's difficultly simple, and it's simply difficult. Yeah. You know that's the duality yeah. of it. Like never give up on giving up, and then sometimes you gotta know when to give up on never giving up because not everyone, you know, deserves this. And I feel like some people would take advantage of a good person trying to pay it forward. Yeah. You know. Oh, I think you're so right. I believe like when we pay it forward. <laughs> get paid it forward like you you have to do what the kid and pay it forward said you have well, got kid to last night i i've never ever given my shoes to anybody ever before ever yeah and i just looked at his feet and i looked in his eyes and i mean i just got absorbed by him yeah. and i thought you need these shoes right here yeah these are these are the shoes yeah. and he looked at me like what and that's, that's <laughs> what? another thing is like i've seen a lot of that like kind of with the whole coronavirus thing it's, i see a lot more people on the streets every day homeless people i'm starting to see people who don't belong on the streets that are there well and you see seen people in in the soup kitchens and, and uh food uh, warehouses and stuff that are being given sustenance something to survive on yeah you know that they never in a million years dreamed that they'd be in that circumstance but there they are you know, and the fact is, it just it just drives home to me. We all need each other. We always will need each other. And mankind promises to be every bit as resourceful and as wonderful and as good as mankind can be if we just let it. We just let mankind be that way. Huh, so, like, two things I kind of like, like, they're like Easter eggs that, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like two things I'm, you're telling me to continue loving because I'm safe to love them is the mystery. Love the mystery. Keep trying to figure it out, but if you don't, just love the mystery. And then uh, loving the difference between the good and bad. Because like you were saying, if I didn't have all this good stuff, I wouldn't know how to... Uh, One emotion is, be is, is, is better than the other. I, that's all I feel. I, 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 if I had a, my druthers between hating somebody or someone, for whatever the reason, uh, my, my situation with Chevy is extremely uh, strange yeah, because yeah, this guy has threatened to kill her not once, not twice, like three or four times. And he's tried to do it. Right. And she just keeps going back to him. And I keep telling her, you know, I, I realize this is a matter of your heart, okay? But I'm asking you to understand something. He wants to kill you. Yeah. He wants to end your life. Now, if you're ready to cash in, well, just so be it. But the reality is, why give him that opportunity? You know, why do you keep going back from her? And she doesn't know, well, you know, and I just told her, I said, hey, you know, uh, I I don't think there's any one thing that's better than the other or that has a, the, the, uh, the right to bragging rights or whatever uh, right. over the other. But one is certainly sustainable. The other is. Okay. And death is pretty much final. That's cool. All right. That's Goodbye. A, that was that's it. way wise. I'm going to have to rewatch this. Um. Well, first of all, I'm, thank you for this interview. Well, the pleasure is mine. Like I said, I, I, I don't know, Andrew, if I would say the right thing or I've said the right thing, or, but I believe in my heart of hearts. I that believe it, that you're talking from a selfless point of view to try and help the world do something bigger than yourself. I, I, I would love to see that happen. Well, I'm going to help you make that happen. I would I love promise. to see that happen. And as I said, if, if I could do one thing, just have one kid on the street go, whoa, well, wait a minute, what, what did that guy say? You know, actually be interested and want to hear and want to know more. That would be great. But I, I don't expect it. And uh, uh, you're one of the few people that's receptive to an older person saying something. Uh, I, I tend to uh, bite my lip or, you know, uh, when, you, when, you, when you've when you always been able to say the right thing or do the right thing all your life, you get, you know, it's almost like, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, almost. Yikes. Yeah, that naked elephant in the room. Yeah. Yeah. And I, 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 I just at, at the point where I'm thinking, you know, the world doesn't need any more of this. You know, if the person, 
And I've never ever chased a person and said, hey, I'm talking to you, or, you know, I've never done that. And people said, why? You know, it bothers you that they don't pay attention. I say they don't pay attention because their attention span short. <laughs> So you're, it's so not it's necessarily like, a bad thing or a good thing. It's just what it is. So this this is cool. I didn't expect this. Uh, you know, I don't know if you realize what you just did, but for other old timers out there, uh, you know, I hear him saying like he keeps he sees people he wants to help, and then he tries, and it hurts his feelings when you know he he tries. Uh, with me, it was more or less like you know I've I've been close to like. Oh, death and everybody around me so I know that you know when I die I don't want like I just this is my one shot to be in this man's life and to like be something to him that no one else was so I'm not gonna waste it at all you know and I hope that someone else takes my uh, footsteps especially if something happens to me because that you know just like he feels like he hopes someone listens and watches this video I feel like I hope if something happens to me someone continues doing this because right here like like i told you everything you're giving me right now is worth more to me than money way more than any amount you can put on it like this is stuff i carry on to my next this is stuff that and, and, and somebody could, could read off a page and then take over for you and be able to say hey, I, think, I think i see where he's going here with this or i think i understand what and tried the point he was trying to make and then they get it. And like you said, if all you're trying to do is pass it forward, make it, make it, make something better uh, than, than what it is now or might be later on. That's a, that's a, a worthwhile endeavor in my opinion. Okay. Um, hell yeah, thanks. That feels good. Uh, you were told me, um, you know, something very important that I shouldn't lose is like a, my confidence in speaking up. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a hard thing. A lot of people look at me and go, you, you're always taking the easy way out, you know. You avoid conflict. You don't get in, uh, knocked down, drag out, punching fights with people and stuff like that. And you, you always you, you turn the, you turn the other cheek. You, you don't uh, confront the, the evil type thing. And I say, you know, there's easy ways to do things and there's hard ways to do things. Yeah. And uh, maybe I'm uh, rock-headed or whatever, but I have always gone the hard I've never ever accepted anything that was too easy. I couldn't, I just couldn't, uh, for one, I'd look around like, okay, is this candy camera or what? <laughs> you guys could put punk in right. here or what? Uh, you get to the point where you realize everybody feels that way. There isn't a single soul on this earth that doesn't feel like, wow, I'm just an insignificant little grain of sand on the beach. Oh well, yeah, we are all insignificant grains of sand. But, together, but we, we all are have the our beach. story. We are the rock. We are the thing that makes it all happen. Yeah. You know, the place where it that happens. That was beautiful. Yeah. That was, that's that kind of wisdom. One day, if you guys don't pay attention, it will be gone. And you won't be able to ask. Trust me, I lost my parents, and I didn't get to ask them this stuff because I was too young. And I didn't know the value that was slipping away. No, and, and I lost my parents and realized there was so much that I didn't ask them. That I didn't, that I didn't speak up and inquire about, for fear that I, it would seem absurd or, you know, go out of my comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. And and, and my my parents were, were with me. They they would, they just kind of look at me like, don't start. <laughs> I go, okay, you got it. And then, uh, so to just to let the world know, we have a lovely lady who's making sure everything is heard and filmed and. All that stuff. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate her it. Her name is Michaela. We had she had some questions. Do you uh, want to take over and I'll do this part or whatever? I mean, the one question that I really had, I feel like we touched on earlier, was just and you even said it, just the concept of be the change that you want to see in the world. Um, and so that's really the one question that I had is you, you know, just with that concept of you know the be the change you want to see in the world. What would you change or what would you what would be your message for people to change so that the world also changes? Well, I think there are a lot of things that people